In elementary school, I accidentally caused an infestation of bugs and it unleashed chaos. My name is Quinton and if you want to let me try and light up your day and be online friends, you can of course subscribe and ring the bell to get notified whenever a new video goes live. In order to know how the insects got there in the first place, we need to go back a few weeks before it happened. I was around eight years old and I was at my father's house and one of the neighbors was like, hey, you know what we caught? We caught a couple of stick insects. Stick insects being those creatures that look like sticks because it's their camouflage, but basically they are insects. They had this terrarium full of them. I I was always very intrigued by nature, so I came over, I looked at them, I thought, this is so cool. Then my neighbor said something that is gonna be important a little later on. He said, do you see this one, this big one? You see how her front legs are turning red? When a stick insect's front legs are turning red, it means she's going to lay eggs. Seriously? Plan this into your mind. So he's like, hey, do you want one of these stick insects to keep as a pet? I was like, yeah, of course. So I got this jar, I got this stick insect. I thought it was amazing. I went back home to my mother's house and I said, mom, look what I got, a stick insect. Can I keep it? And she was like, ah, well, I mean, we have this terrarium for it. So we put some stuff in there and we put this pantyhose over it. So it would still let through air and we could dr drip water on it, which you could then drink out of it basically. But then my mom was like, how about you take it to school, to your class and keep it as the class pet? I thought that was great and not at all a scheme for my mom to get it out of the house. So next day I go over with it to my teacher and I'm like, hey, I got this super cool stick insect. Can this be the class pet? We could study it and it looks cool and basically it'll unite us as a class, you know? And she was like, uh... I mean, um, but since I can be quite persuasive with my arguments, I like to believe, she ended up saying yes, and we placed it in the middle of class. Every day I would give it a little bit of water, I would refresh the things that were in there. I didn't want to touch it though, because I was still incredibly terrified of touching anything even remotely living, but we all thought it was very cool. One day I got quite sick, but me and my classmates had to deal that if I wasn't there because I was sick, someone else would give the stick insect water. My mom called in school, called me off sick, and for about three days I was there at home. Right before I left that day, I was actually observing the stick insect and I thought, oh, it almost looks like its front legs are turning red. D didn't that mean it? Nah, that doesn't mean anything. By the end of the week, on like a Friday or something, I arrive back in class. I'm gonna check out my stick insect, says Mickey Mouse sounding young Quint and walking over to the stick insect. The first thing I notice is that the pantyhose isn't over the thing anymore. Not only was it taken off, it just laid in the terrarium. So as I carefully lift it off, not wanting to actually touch the thing itself, I notice that it's not there anymore. The stick insect had gotten out because some dingus left the thing open. So of course I'm bummed out, it was our stick insect, we didn't even have it for that long. Okay, you know what? I, I guess I should just get over it, I thought. So little Quint and hops over to his place, sits down, and you know, we just have a normal day of class until these two kids from this other class, they knock on the door, they walk in, and they're holding like a measuring cup with something on, like to, to keep it closed. So they look around the class. Um, yeah, has any of you lost a stick insect? So I'm like, yeah, that's my stick insect. It's, 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 you put it over there in the terrarium. So I go over there. Yay, put it back in there and put it back over. I look into it. And I see that it's not exactly the same color and it also seems a little smaller than I remembered. And I thought, is this the same stick? Yeah, I mean, there's only one stick insect in school, so what else could it be? I sit back down, we have the rest of the class just a few hours later. A couple of kids from this other class with the measuring cup walk into the classroom. Uh, yeah, you guys, th did any of you lose uh, a stick insect? Everyone's heads slowly turn to me like in a movie and I'm like, ah. Uh lost a stick insect. So we walk over to the terrarium, put it in, and once again, it's a different stick insect. So we're just sitting there like, um, I had one. Turns out our stick insect, which front legs were definitely turning red, had gotten out because some dingus left the thing open. It escaped, went through school, and laid eggs through the entire school. Stick insects were crawling all over the place. Like, luckily, at some point it just stopped because maybe a lot of eggs were like sucked up in the vacuum or anything. They were slowly popping up around classrooms, suggesting that our stick insect just went into a classroom like pooping them out everywhere, filling the school with these lovely creatures. Now I've told this story all the way back in June in a live stream that is currently unlisted. And you might have seen this shirt in my previous video, which is actually sparked by the story. You see, I was on the live stream and suddenly I realized that I had this story to tell. <gasps> Yeah. So I tell the story and this guy goes, Quentin, are you sure it wasn't just a normal stick? The people in the chat loved that joke. Everyone started yelling at me, hi, oh, it was just a stick, it was just a stick. To which I loudly responded, it's not a stick. This joke has continued for half a year already. When I did my previous meetup with subscribers in Amsterdam, someone brought me literal sticks because of it. I 
fruit sakes! Oh god! <laughs> this stick is an emoji on the Discord. And it even went as far as people asking me to make merch, what I'm wearing right now, of the stick joke. So to the people that requested that, and also requested me to add more products when I talked about it last time, I have now created a shop. If you go to teespring.com slash Hide, there's this shirt, hoodies, and sweatshirts all with the it's not a stick meme on it. Quick side note, every item is added twice. One that ships from Europe, one that ships from US. Says it in the title, it's much better for your shipping. Link in the description. Please let me know down below in the comments, has something like this ever happened to you? And if you're new here and you would like to have two videos a week trying to light up your day, I would love to have you subscribe. But above all, I really just hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you next time.